Softer, the application for building internal tools and client portals, recently announced a new integration with HubSpot, the popular CRM. This means that HubSpot users will now be able to build powerful web applications on top of the data that they already have inside of HubSpot. Hi, I'm Dan Lehman from AutomationHelpers.com and we're a Softer and CRM implementation partner. If you haven't gotten started yet with Softer, you can do so using the affiliate link in the description below. Let's say that I'm in commercial real estate and so inside of HubSpot, I'm tracking my deals as different real estate records and I want to be able to have better visibility for my clients so that they can actually take a look at the properties that we're talking about. So we're going to build a new client portal inside of Softer. When you're logged into Softer, you can click down in the lower left hand corner, click on data sources, and this is where we're going to set up a new data source. From here, you can see a couple of different options and we're going to choose HubSpot. You can choose your account and then authenticate. Next, we'll click the button to build a new application, and we're gonna do this one from scratch. So we'll click on blank application and get started. This is the area that we call Softer Studio. It's where we can build and configure our application to look and behave as we want. And you'll notice that there's lots of different areas that we can click on to be able to add new blocks. And so there's lots of different blocks that could be both static data, maybe we wanna have different headers in our sections, or it could be dynamic, which means we're going to populate that with data that we have inside of HubSpot. One of the first things that I wanna do is make sure that I have my users and user groups set up so I can control who can see what inside of our application. So I'm gonna click here on users and this is where we could go ahead and add a couple of users to the system. When we're adding new users, you've got a couple different ways that they can authenticate into the application. A really easy one is with a magic link, which means when you send them an invite, they can just click on that link and it will automatically log them in. Now that I have a couple of users, we wanna set up our user groups. I can click here and let's create our first user group. This one is going to be admin. It's going to be for me or people on my team where we want to be able to upload new deals or essentially new properties that we have into the application. We can select which of our users we wanna be able to add in. So in this case, we'll add myself. I wanna add another group as well, and this one we'll have for our clients because we want them to interact with this web application differently than if they were someone on our team. Here we can click next, and again, we'll add the user for that client. From here, let's go ahead and start to configure one of our pages. Now out of the box, we have some pages for us already. So I'm gonna click on this one called list. You can see that we have a block here that already looks pretty good in terms of a visual representation. So I could of course add my own blocks to this page, but we're going to use the block that we already have and tweak it so that it works with the data that we have inside of HubSpot. Let's start by clicking on this block itself. We can see that this is a list block that we have with vertical cards, and now we can connect it to our data source. So we can click here and we can scroll down and find our data source for HubSpot. And we want this block to connect to the deals that we have. Notice that we could connect them to companies or to contacts or to different objects that we have, but in this case, we'll choose deals. One of the really powerful features about Softer is that we can add in conditional logic. So we could say, we only want to show certain deals or certain properties that match a set of conditions. We're not gonna do that now, we're gonna show everybody everything, but know that if you're trying to limit down who can see what, this is a great way to handle it. Next, let's click on our content tab. From here, I wanna change what actually appears because these are just stock avatars that we're looking at out of the box. We wanna be able to have our own information. So I can click on these fields. Here we've got an image field, and I'm going to go ahead and select a field that I have here called property image. And when we click on that, that should now align with the actual image links that we've stored that we have inside of HubSpot. Let's change our heading so this makes a little bit more sense. I like that we have a heading, but instead I want the content to be the name of the deal. So we'll search for deal name and click on that. So that should update and we can see our deal names that are mapped across. I've also added the amount of the deal and you can add new fields that you have. So maybe you've added custom properties inside of HubSpot. You can map those across as well. Next, let's click on our actions. And here's where we wanna make a couple tweaks. So for someone who's on my team, an admin of the system, I'm fine if they want to add records or update records. Maybe they don't even need to go into HubSpot at all. So maybe we have an administrative assistant on my team and they're not even a user of HubSpot. Instead, they can just log into this application and they can add new properties. But as you can imagine, we probably don't want the end users, the clients to have an option to add a record. That wouldn't really make sense here. So let's go ahead and change this. We can click on this button visibility and we're going to say, instead of all users, we first wanna make sure 
sure that it's only logged in users that can see this. And then from here, we're going to say only people who are admins can actually add those new records. Now, the cool part, as you could see above, is that we can also distinguish from logged out users. So maybe you want to make part of your website totally public. Maybe people can view the properties, but they can't actually save them unless they're a logged in user. So there's a lot of flexibility and configurability when it comes to building these web applications with software. Now, I'm also going to want to configure, well, what happens when they click that add record button? So we can expand this and we can expand that add record action. And here's where we can add the different fields that are going to show up when we we actually open up the modal to add a new record. I've gone ahead and mapped a couple of these fields across so that when we open this up, we can do things including even having a file picker to upload the images. And let's change this button to make it a little less confusing. Instead of add record, we're going to say add listing or we could have add property. And we also want to restrict so it's only admins who can update the record itself. So we could do the same thing. We could say let's restrict so not just logged in users, but only the admins are going to see that button to update the records. What's really cool is that we can add our own custom buttons. So let's add a new button here and notice we could open a details page, we could open an external URL, we could edit the record, we could make updates to this. So in this case, let's say that we're going to open up a details page for this. Now, I'm not going to configure a whole details page with everything to do with commercial real estate here, but in this case, we could go ahead and say, let's create a new details page and we could choose our layout for this. And we're going to actually link this so we could go through the process here, map all of our fields so that when a user sees it, they see that button to open for details and it can open up this more expanded page as opposed to the little version that they're looking at. Now from here, let's go back into our content again. And you'll notice that we can actually search and have different categories here. So I'm actually gonna remove the second set of categories so we have a little bit more screen real estate. But if I click on these first categories, we can go ahead and map these to a data source themselves. We're gonna filter by, let's say the deal stage, I think would make sense here. So we'll click on deal stage and then we can sync that with the data source. So you'll notice up at the top, we have our different deal stages that we can now filter on for which of those properties or which of those deals are displaying. Now there's lots of additional configuration we could do. So for example, we. Could could take a block that we don't really need. We could delete those extra blocks. We could change our logo and how our navigation works. We can build this really powerful application. One thing I do want to do is just to change this because I don't think list is very descriptive here. So I'm going to come into general and we're going to call this listings and we're going to change this to listings or, or properties or something that makes a little bit more sense for our use case. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now, if we go into our home page, we can actually edit the navigation here to reflect that listings page. So let me click on this logged in experience for our navigation. And I'm going to scroll down here and we see that we've got this option for projects. Well, that's no longer relevant to us. So I'm just going to change this to listings and we'll have this open up our listings page that we have. I wanna show you something really cool here. If I click this preview icon, what we can do is we can actually preview our app as different users. So we could see what this is as a non-logged in user, or we could see what does this look like as an admin like myself, and let me click on that listings page. So again, because I'm an admin, I have the option to make those updates or to add a new listing. And we configured that form so I can click on add listing. Let's add a new one. Once I have my form filled out here, I can click add, and this is going to add that record now into what we have for our deals or for our properties. And now we can see that we have this deal, this property that's listed that we just created. And if we log in as a client, they get a very similar experience, but they can't add a new listing or update the records that we already have. Now we just need to publish our application and we're ready to go live. You can, of course, have your own custom domains and subdomains. So there's a lot you can do on the branding side to really make this web application yours. I hope this has been helpful to see just how powerful the combination of HubSpot and Softer can be. If you haven't gotten started, use the link in the description below to get up and running with Softer.